Hmm. I just finished sand plumbing. I wonder what I can do to make it look better. If you guys want to find out, watch the video coming right at you. Vinny Vid Production brought to you by Yankee Dabber. For a 7% discount on your purchases, use code BNSF6951. And by Highways and Byways, awesome graphics for your streets and roads on your model layout. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Vinny Vid Productions video. Featuring Vinny Built Structures. Hi, my name is Vinny. I am your host, but I'm also known as BNSF6951. And then I'm also known as Cousin Vinny. The content you'll see here will be on scratch builds, kit builds, and some kit bashing on model railroad structures. So, if you guys are interested in watching some of the, these kind of videos, click down here on the icon uh, and subscribe to my channel. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the bell right next to it. Make sure you do the one with the two little lines on the side so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. With all that being said, come on in, see what I'm doing. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, uh, reveal of sand plumbing and we are going to continue on this by doing some details uh, on this building uh, and then get ready to put it on the layout so with that being said I already started doing this and this was thanks to Joey Butzek uh, I liked his idea so I am copying it uh, and what he did was he put all his grooves and stuff in, the, in his real concrete guys real concrete and then he just took some glue and filled it in with one of these little t-pins so I did that here and I did it here. So we're going to try it again here and we'll see how this is going to work. Try and get it in. I, I grooved everything out. So you just have to kind of follow the groove with the glue. <clears throat> uh oh. All right, so look like I've got a little bit too much on there. See if we can get some of this up. And so just just barely enough glue in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some of this woodland scenics. Uh, this is mixed grass, and we're just going to pour it on there and let that sit for a few minutes. And I'll do this next one here. And then we'll shake that off and see what it looks like. Now, sometimes it may take more than one or two tries to get it done. But when, you, when it gets done, it looks pretty good, as you can see right there. Now, the only thing I don't like is I really don't have any control over this grass. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my uh, static grass applicator. I don't know what happened with it. But um, all of a sudden it quit working, and I don't know because my when I <coughs> back this out for a minute. So it goes on. You can see the lights on. But when I take this and touch it here, there's nothing. There's no spark, and I don't know how the electricity goes from here to here to this top piece. So anyhow. We'll see if I can fix it. All right, so once this is starting to get dry, you can just take it. And like I said, it may take more than one try to do it. And let's see where did I put my little brush. Here we go. Now, the only thing I don't like about the uh, woodland scenic stuff, it creates its own static. As you can see, it's not really coming off of here. Now we'll just push it down, make sure it stays in there, fix whatever you can. Now see that little bit just came up there. 
So I have to put some more down. Try and reclaim some of this stuff that goes over the side here. Yeah, it's just, it's got its own static electricity, I tell you. <laughs> And I just want to give this a little bit of detail, just to, you know, not just all gray and stuff. So I'm just going to put this in various spots. I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple more off camera. And then we'll get on to the next part uh, of the detailing that I'm going to do to this building. So with that being said, hang on and we'll be back shortly. All right, guys, while we're waiting for all of this to dry up, I'm going to go ahead and add my my car stops here and I just made these out of uh, styrene uh, it wasn't very hard they're pretty close to the BL BLMA models so you can see I have four parking spots right here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in there let me get you in a little closer alright oh. so I already put a utility pole in here as you guys can see or may not see at this time but yeah, there is a utility pole. And the reason why I put the pole in is because I want to put some bushes around it to make it look a little bit more realistic. There. All right. So let me get my uh, let me get my um, tweezers. You know, it's funny because I have to move from different tables to do these different jobs on these models. So hang on, guys. All right, so I got my tweezers now, and we're just gonna lay a little bit of glue down in there and uh, start putting these guys in place. Just gonna use my regular Model Masters glue. And I did groove these out, take some of the paint off. I did mark these out of where they have to go. And there you go, there's one. Any kind of little details you could put on, on your models, guys, makes a big difference, makes everything pop. As you can see, now I'm just adding this little bit of yellow here. Oh, um, by the way, the striping that I did on here, I don't know if you guys can see that. You know what, let me see if I can get the camera up higher. It might be a little bit less light. So hang on. Oops. Hmm. Okay. Anyhow, uh, let's see. You can see that. You can barely see the lines here. Uh, those are the parking spaces that I did. Anyhow, we got two more of these guys to put on here. Here's one. And here's the other. Move that right away. All right, so now we'll go ahead and do this guy. Try and get in as straight as you can. <laughs> I know in real life they're not really. Uh oh, oh here it is. <laughs> Stuck to my finger. I know in real life they're not always 100% straight. I think I'm in the mood for breakfast. I have not had breakfast yet. It's pretty early in the morning, guys. All right, so there you go. So now we have our car stops here. And my intention is to put some foliage right behind those to make it look like the end of the property, which it is the end of the property. And so I'm just going to put some of this clump foliage like right behind here, just, just a couple of little pieces just to give it that little bit more detail that I want. 
I mean, I don't like this this wooden scenic. It's just got too much staticky stuff in it. Can't even break it apart. See, that's what I want. It's just these little, little tiny pieces there. Uh oh. How'd you move? How did you move? I want to know. All right, so what I got really is just this little cup that I have some glue in there, and I'm just going to pour some more in, and this is straight glue. It's not mixed or anything like that. So I'm just going to take some of this and just put just a little dab right there and right there. And I just want to get some of these little guys up in there. Details, guys, it's all about the details. And that's all I want to do right there. You guys can see that, right? Right along there. All right, so uh, let's see. The next thing we're going to do, while well, all this stuff dries out, I'm going to put a couple more of these cracks and stuff along here uh, where, you, where you'll be able to see them. I'll do another one right here. Uh, we're going to put some around the uh, utility pole here. So let's do that right now. Just like a little bit of overgrowth. And what I should do is actually put a little, put a little dirt down there. But I'm not going to do that. It's my railroad. I can do what I want, right? <laughs> All right, so. I did uh, secure the, t the uh, utility pole. I used uh, some uh, Gorilla Glue to secure it. There. Just a little bit of patience, guys. And there we go. Now I may put a little bit more glue on top of this, but we'll let, because it's not, there. All right, we'll let that dry up. We'll let all of this dry up and we'll move over to uh, the building, I guess. <clears throat> let me move some of this stuff out of the way and we will be back shortly. All right, guys, what we're doing now with this uh, foundation part is we're going to be adding a perimeter of dirt around all the way up to about, uh, let's see if I can get you back in focus here, up to about here. And it's just going to be a little strip along the edge. And as you can see, I got some foliage that's overgrown coming out of the cracks and stuff. Uh, the car bumpers here, utility poles. And we're going to dress all of this up, you know, with some greenery and stuff like that. And i got to figure out why my static grass work is not working. Anyhow, I'm going to show you how I do this section right here. We'll start from here. This is a little delicate. I should have done, I, actually, I could take that, those back off. Uh, anyhow, we're just going to go ahead around the perimeter. Um, and I'm just showing you this with the road here, just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, there won't be a railroad crossing here. Uh, the track will stop right about the end of the sidewalk here. But basically, this is what the side of this building looks like. 
there's a couple of electrical cabinets that, that are going to go here. Uh, and I do have those and I have one on order that's coming in. So with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start doing this edge right here. Uh, and we'll continue on with this uh, decorating sand plumbing. Turn this around a little bit. And for now, honestly, I, I'm going to go ahead and if I can get these off. Yeah, they'll come off. I got a little rambunctious with these ones. <laughs> so we'll just take them off. And we could always put them back on later. Alright, so the way I do this, and it may be uh, unorthodox or whatever you want to call it, um, I lay down a little, little layer of glue, and then I put some dirt on top of that, and then I'll let that set up, and then when it sets up and I start putting my other colors on is when I'll wet, you know, do the uh, wet water and 50-50 uh, glue on top of it all. This is just like a base to hold it all, so I have straight glue in this little cup, and we're going to start right about here. And just go along the back side here. I don't want to go too far, but we will. So we're just doing like maybe the width of the brush. That's all I want to do. Just want to separate it from the rest of the layout, you know, kind of what I'm saying. All right, that's as far as we're going to go. Um, we'll put more, we'll put some of the stuff down. And this is the dirt that I've been using. Uh, it comes from uh, rail fanning position that I went to at one time. All right, so now I just go ahead and kind of tap it into the glue. Oops, <laughs> I tapped too hard on that one. <laughs> Oops. Gotta put some more down there. Alright, and so we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue across the back side. <clears throat> that gives a purpose to this greenery to be there. <laughs> And you know, I, like I said, I don't know why all of a sudden um, my uh, static grass applicator just quit working. I touched, you know, I touched both ends together. It doesn't even spark. It's a brand new battery. The light indicates that it's on, but yet it doesn't do anything. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't think I am doing anything wrong. But we'll see. <clears throat> and then we're just going to do right down there, just a little bit down there. Lots of oops going on here lately. And there you go. Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll wait for all of that to dry up and we'll go ahead and start adding some grass and stuff like that. Uh, and in the meanwhile, I'm going to see why, uh, why my uh, uh, static grass applicator is not working. Anyhow, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright guys, as we continue on with uh, our detailing the uh, sand plumbing structure. This is the one that's going to be street side. Right here is going to be street side and this is going to be track side here. Uh, there is an electrical or a couple of electrical cabinets right there and that's what we're going to do next. So what I did was I took a couple of these uh, Cal Freight electrical boxes as you can see right here and I cut the top off of this one to make it look different than this one. Uh, just to give it a little bit of difference. I also, what I did 
was on the back side of this. I don't know if you guys are going to see that, but I had put grooves in here. This one will have two conduit pipes coming out of it, and this will have one conduit pipe, and they will be at different levels. But the reason why I put those grooves in there is so when I take this, I think it piece up here, this here 0.4 millimeter uh, piano wire, uh, it'll fit right in that groove. And also, I don't, I don't know if you saw that, uh, I also put it at a 90. <clears throat> so, with that being said, what we're going to do next is I want to temporarily, I don't know if I should say temporarily, maybe I should just go ahead and do it. Uh, but I have to raise it up a bit. Anyhow, give me a minute. Let me get set up to do this, and I'll be back shortly. All right, guys. So now I have my electrical cabinet all fixed up, nice and pretty, as you can see. Uh, if you are standing on the sidewalk across the street from here, this is what you would see. Now, I don't know what this door was used for. It might have been, uh, uh, it might have been a uh, truck loading or something like that. But what I was doing was these electrical cabinets right here. I made them look different. They were exactly like this one. I just cut the top on that one and just gave it a fast brush over with some gray paint. Uh, this is piano wire that I had drilled and gone through the wall. I'm not exactly sure if that's how you would see that, but to me, it's my model. I could do whatever I want with it, and that's a good thing about scratch building. You could change things on the fly. Uh, anyhow, I moved this pole. Well, can you even see that pole? <laughs> anyhow, <laughs> let me see if I can get you over there. Yeah. This pole was here, and I decided to move it to back here. So, and that gave me the opportunity. Let me back this out a bit, because you guys can't see all of this. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. This pole right here was at the corner here. But I want to space it out where I could have at least three, because I think I might even do some wire uh, cable on here. I'm not 100% sure, because Marty from m, m Rails had given me that um, the stretchable stuff that they use for this so I just might do that anyhow the next project we're going to do on this to detail it out is to add some doors to the bigger building so let me get ready for that and I will bring it back and show you how we're going to do that so stay tuned and we'll be right back all right guys when you're doing scratch builds you could make up your mind to do whatever you feel like doing because first of all if it's not for somebody that's specific if it's for your own model railroad you could do whatever you want so I choose to do the easiest way out on this model uh, only because uh, it's going to be uh, at least three and a half to four feet away where you're really not going to see how I assemble this. So to get on with that, we're going to go ahead and do something with these doors right here, all the doors, except for this one back here because this one get, gets covered by the office. But anyhow, I just took a piece of the material that I did this with and I just turned it horizontally and it looks like a metal door and so what i did was i am going to have these doors like partially open so this is going to go behind here let's see if i can get this up here where you guys can see it maybe just the camera up a little bit and zoom in a bit yeah there you go and i'm going to glue it behind there and just a very little bit to be revealed to make it look like there's a door there. Now you guys are saying, yeah, but you got the roll up thing on the outside and you're gonna put that on the inside. Uh, you're right. <laughs> and I could have built it the other way. I could have put the uh, door on the outside like that. Uh, and it would have just been a matter of just changing how I constructed the openings. So like I said, this is gonna be three and a half to four feet away and you're really not gonna see how that looks. So with that being said, uh, all I'm going to do is add some glue up here on the top of this and glue it to the back of that. And uh, this door here, I am going to show in the closed position. And like I said, even looking at it on the screen, uh, it looks like it's, it's, it's good where it is. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll bring you back when that is done. All right, guys, you're now going to see a building that has doors installed. Uh, just go over the front with you a little bit. As you can see, I have the safety stripe, yellow stripe here on the platform. I also got a handrail, uh, guardrail back here at the end because there is a little bit of a difference between the two buildings. Uh, this door is partially open. 
And let me spin this around a little bit. And I decided to do one door totally closed just to give it a bit more interest. Uh, then these two doors would be open. Again, the yellow stripe, the uh, yellow handrails, the stairs with handrails. And then we go to the back. And this door is partially open also. And this door we're not going to do anything with because the office building butts up to that. So I'm good there. Anyhow, now that this part is finished, the next part we're going to hit up is the roofs. So stay tuned. Let me get set up for that. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, what you're looking at now is the building that we previously worked on with the doors. Uh, we're going to start adding some roof details to this. And the reason why roof details are important when you do a build or any kind, either a kit build or a, sc a scratch build or whatever is because it's what you see when you look at the railroad. That's the first thing you see is the tops of all your structures. So it's always good to put some good amount of... Um, of uh, uh, details on top of the roof. So, first of all, anything, uh, any details that I'm going to be adding now, except for these two vents, uh, I'm going to be using this uh, scenic accent glue. And the reason why I'm going to use this is because um, supposedly I can undo what I did. I can, in other words, if I put a part on here and I want to change it out later on, I can. It, it'll let me do that. So. Uh, the only thing with that is once you put it on, you got to let it dry up for about 15 minutes before you can actually apply it to the model. And so with that being said, as you can see right now, these are the two air conditioning units, or actually I should call them swamp coolers, that are going to be going on top of this building. And you can see I got the uh, scenic accent glue already on there. So I'm waiting for that to dry. But in the meanwhile, these buildings are also going to have... Um, bathrooms and if you have a bathroom there's two things that you need you need a stack and you need a vent so that being said i'm going to go ahead and do that but first i'm going to go ahead and glue these guys down with my regular model masters glue because those will never be changed out and uh just put a bunch right in there and i did groove this out so it sits over the uh so it sits over the uh ridge thing that i have going on here Oops, come back to you. I have to see if I can get more of these because this is the last two I have. And I was looking on eBay and I could not find them. And I need to find more because I got to put a whole bunch. So what I did was um, I put this one in three panels back. I put this one in three panels back. So when you look at it, it looks pretty even, I guess you would say. Uh, symmetrical is the word. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, close this guy up. So, the first thing we're going to do, like I said, it needs a vent. So, we're going to put, we'll imagine that uh, from the office and you walk into the shop or the warehouse, you're going to, there's probably, there will pro probably be a bathroom there. So, again, I'm just assuming this. And I'm trying to put all my, all my components on here where there's already some rusting on there. So, I don't have to do that later on. So, with that being said, I have my uh, uh, palm drill ready, and we're just going to go ahead and drill a couple holes. So we just put in here. And this is going to be, and I'll show you what we're going to use to actually do the vent. This is going to be the vent. Oops. Now, I don't know what HO nail spikes look like, but this... Is what an end scale nail spike nail spike looks like. And you guys can see that. Anyhow, um, I drill a hole big enough for this guy to fit in, just like that. And look at that, we got a stack. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So I know that this hole will be a little bit too small. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to take my uh, exacto blade and I'm just going to put it in there and kind of. Just make it just a little bit bigger. I just want it to fit tight. Oh, I made it too big. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh well. All right. Well, anyhow, we will fix that with some glue. But anyhow, as you can see, that's that one. Actually, I know what I can do. Haha. Uh -huh. There's always a way to fix something, guys. Always. 
So the next thing I'm going to put is bigger. So I'll just make that hole bigger, put the other one in there, and then put this one over there, and we'll be good to go again. Watch this, guys. <laughs> so let's see. We'll put this one over over here. Nah, that's too close. Yeah, let's see. Let's put them a little further up. I won't make that mistake again, that's for sure. <laughs> but like I said, there's always, always a way to get out of a situation. It's called adapting and overcoming. Now, I know that that's going to be tight, and I'm just going to try and force it in there for now. All right, and the second one is also going to be a tight fit. But we're going to use um, this number uh, two. No, what, what number is this? Um, it's one of the rods. It was, I think it's 222. It's like a 16th inch rod. And we're going to put that kind of like in that first hole that I messed up. You'll see how we fix this guy. This is Vinny Bill Structures. Alright. Alright. So we're going to take that same hole. And we're just going to run this guy into it. Uh oh, what happened? Oh, it got loose. That's not supposed to happen. Let's try it again. And the other two buildings will get the same treatments. All right now, you can see we have that there, and I know this is not going to fit. Maybe it will. No, well, I'm going I'm to have to do the same thing and hopefully I won't go too much. I don't think that did anything. Anyhow, I'll go ahead and fix that, but you get the idea of what we're doing here. And we still got some time left on that glue, so let me see if I can get those sitting there a little bit better and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Alright guys, as you can see, I've got most of the uh, roof details on here that I'm going to put on there. Now, I know that these aren't, they, these shouldn't be on a slant down, they should be on a, on a little uh, uh, framework. But, the reason why I have it like that is because eventually I'm going to find uh, air conditioners actually for rooftops. These are not rooftop air conditioners. They say they are, but they are, unless you've got a flat roof, yes, then they are. Anyhow, uh, I got the, uh, I guess these are called cyclone vents, I think. And then we turn this around here. We got the same thing here with the, uh, they are actually swamp coolers. Um, there's no way that they would refrigerate these two buildings. <laughs> um, and then on this side here, we did the uh, dig them bother there. And I just, like I said earlier, I might string that. Uh, the office has this little pipe sticking up out of the roof here, but their air conditioner, of course, their refrigerated air gets mounted on the ground here. Uh, and that's that'll get eventually get glued down. All the structures will eventually get the uh, the uh, woodland scenic uh, accent glue, scenic accent glue, uh, to hold it down to this. So I can move it around with no problems. Uh, then we got my car stops here, back door, da da da, and over here on this side. So now uh, the next clip. Uh, you will see is I am going to add all the rest of the details to this and that includes like some freight on the uh, on the uh, platform uh, vehicles um, Dumpsters pallets pipe loads so on and so on and so on <laughs> Anyhow, I will go ahead and do that and uh, I will bring you back uh, for the finale of this video So stay tuned and we'll be back shortly all right, guys, this is going to be the reveal of Detailing Sands Plumbing. Uh, again, we're going to start from this side because this is the side with the least amount of stuff to show you. Uh, and we will, um, not like I told you guys previously, this is not the, the road that will actually be here. I'm just using this for demonstrations. I don't even know if you guys can see that road. Let me see. Are we back that all the way? There we go. So that road that you see right here. That's only just to, you know, to give you an uh, idea of what's going on. Anyhow, uh, like you see over here, we've got all the electrical connections, blah, blah, blah. Telephone pole, well, utility poles, a couple of cacti, some uh, 
static grass, which worked out really good. I like it. <laughs> uh, air conditioning, customer parking, customer and employee parking. I probably could extend this a little more if I have to. Uh, then there'll also be like a little truck back here, loading out of this out of this door. Oh yeah, and then don't forget there are doors in there now. Forgot about that. Uh, a couple of dumpsters right here. Parking for the tractors for the semis. Now I put a little saguaro cactus right there. A couple of pipe loads that I had made. This is a bought pipe load. And then over here we have a couple of 55 gallon drums. Uh, some pallets in the center there. And let's see if we can... A couple of crates right there. By the way, Peter LL, uh, if you are watching this, these are the crates that you gave me quite a while ago. I finally am going to be using them in this build because uh, uh, this is a new build and I wanted to put some new, um, some new uh, crates in there. So thank you very much for those. They are really good looking stuff. Uh, pallets, crates, and now we're coming out to track side. Uh oh, crash. <laughs> Track side is going to have a couple of pallets, a couple more 55 gallon drums, uh, a couple more crates. Anyhow, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this detailing uh, video of sand plumbing by Vinny Built Structures. Uh, and as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. BNSF 6951 and Cousin Vinny out for now. All right, guys, this is bonus clip number one. Uh, when I was showing you all the details on here, there's one detail I didn't show you yet, uh, and I'm going to show you that now. And I decided to do this uh, only because I think it's a really good spot for this, and it's going to look pretty good in the scene as well as being what it's supposed to be. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and put, you notice right here, I got my little stud sticking out. You know what goes on there if you guys have been following me. So this is what's going to happen here. I am putting that guy right there just like that. And since the main road is like right here, this will be visible from both ways. Since this is only probably 150 or maximum 200 feet in. So that's where that's going. All right. So I promise you a couple of uh, bonus clips. So. The next bonus clip is we're going to put this on the layout and I'm going to show you what it's going to look like on the layout. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I had gone through this uh, at one time before for a few guys who are new to my channel. Uh, this is a prototype building. It's called Smith Pipe and Steel. And the road you see right here is called North 19th Avenue. So we'll move down a couple more stores. You've got a, a major uh, um, heavy equipment repair shop right there. And there is the sun, the sand plumbing. As you can see, I didn't want to do too much detail on that far side because you're not going to see it. So all the detail basically is on this side so you can see it all. <clears throat> I decided I'm going to take the billboard and put it out here on this side of the track. So anyhow, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video again. And as always, your questions, comments, input, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome for now that's all folks bnss 6951 and cousin vinnie out for now